I'm a cuddle therapist and men pay $1,300 to hold me, but it's not about whoopee. Which is a interesting article headline. So you can cozy up to this beauty, but it won't come cheap. A cuddle therapist is speaking out about her unusual occupation, revealing that a roster of regular clients pay up to $1,300 for the privilege of holding her in their arms. I gotta say, if you are willing to pay someone to simply basically allow you to hug them, there are worse things going in your life that you need to address. Like, you need to address some pretty big things in your life because that is extremely depressing. And it's almost similar to what I see with a lot of individuals nowadays starting to become very hardcore fans of, like, female influencers to the point where, like, it's creepy, right? Now, I'm not saying that, like, guys who end up doing this are creepy necessarily. Maybe this is fulfilling, like, a hole in their heart or something. But this is, like, a sad situation, right? I mean, props to her to being able to make a lot of money doing something like this with this very unique side hustle. But if you are a guy and you have resorted to doing this or are thinking about resorting to do this, go find someone to talk to because this is really depressing. So Missy Robinson, 43, says, Hugging helps heal the body, mind, and spirit. And it says her services have nothing to do with whoopee. I am not a whoopee worker, and I have never had any clients attempt to do anything like that with me, Robinson told Daily Mail on Wednesday, saying she makes both male and female customers sign an agreement before the healing can begin. Now, as a side note, I think being hugged by someone and hugging someone probably will make you feel a lot better in general, right? I think there's something to that. But having to resort to pay someone to allow you to do that is, again, depressing. As part of the agreement, genitals and breasts are to be covered at all times and are strictly off limits for touching. Will that kind of make cuddling kind of hard, I'm guessing? So Robinson, a former fashion blogger and publicist who has only been working as a cuddle therapist for a short time, said some of her male clients have experienced erections while they are in an embrace, but it never poses an issue. While there is nothing whoopee about it, cuddle therapy, sometimes people do become aroused and get embarrassed, but we just deal with it in a mature way, she disclosed. Touch can elicit these responses. It's only natural, but we leave it there. The brunette beauty who served in the Australian army also confirmed that most of her clients are male and she believes their sessions have profound healing benefits. I know that men are often the ones who need services like this because they can be overlooked when it comes to mental health support, Robinson stated, claiming that a lack of touch exacerbates loneliness and can cause overeating and self-destructive habits such as smoking and nail biting. Now here's the thing. If doing something like this will help prevent you from taking a very drastic measure on yourself, then I see it as a pretty legitimate, I guess, way to spend your money if this is what allows you to keep on going on, at least for the short term. 
But this isn't really a solution to your problem because if you constantly have to pay for the solution to your problem, for the treatment to your problem, it's never really going to work long term. Like, it's just not. It'd be a lot better for you to dedicate time to creating a relationship with someone so that you could actually be in a very long-term relationship where you can actually cuddle that person whenever you want to and that person can cuddle you whenever they want you will want to with you. It's like a mutual thing. And also, it'd do a lot better for you mentally because you're like, oh, this person actually wants to cuddle me. Let's see. Robinson revealed that she recently had one female customer who simply needed a mommy cuddle. She called me after her boyfriend of two and a half years walked out on her without an explanation. Robinson recalled she was devastated and she had no friends or family in the area, so I went to her. Now, that's that's honestly pretty depressing that that happened, but if you feel like you can't confide in someone like that, one, again, is pretty depressing, but it's pretty understandable, right? If you're willing to do that, to try to, like, get over, like, a massive breakup. I understand why people would do this. So the professional cuddler likens her skills to that of a misuse. I work like a massage therapist in some ways, using touch as a way to help relieve people of their pain. The skin is the biggest organ and the gateway to our emotional capacity. Some people hate the idea of being touched, but we are all programmed to need it, she said. For those who can't afford four figures for a cuddle, Robinson offers a range of cheaper packages. She charges $65 for a one-hour cuddle session, but her most popular package is a two-hour cuddle and meal session, which will set a client back $195. $195. And for $1,300, Robinson will cuddle up with a customer overnight, holding them in her arms as they drift off to sleep. Now, let's just do like a little bit of a quick math here. So let's pull up this calculator. So let's say that she were to charge $1,300 per day just for like the overnight stuff, which is used as like a very simple thing. Let's say she gets one client per day. So that's 365 days in a year. So let's see. So she could potentially be making about $474,500 by doing the overnight cuddle sessions, which it would make more sense for her to do like one overnight cuddle session every day instead of... 10, 20 different, 30 different hour to hour long combo package nonsense things. Like it's better to just sell the higher ticket thing for her, right? One, the person's probably going to be a little bit less crazy. Two, they're probably more willing to have more money to end up spending more time with you as well. Like if they're willing to spend thirteen hundred, they're probably willing to spend two thousand. They're probably willing to spend five thousand over time, so that would probably make more sense. So I mean, it's a really good, I guess, business model because you're also getting like recurring business, right? Because if you saw, like, let's put it this way, right? Let's say that you like she were to see only ten people per month with the overnight cuddle sessions. So ten people which would equal $13,000 per month. So she could have 10 regular clients where she charges them $1,300 each for the overnight cuddle stuff. And now she's making $13,000 per month or $156,000 a year, basically only working 10 nights a month. Like, imagine if you can make 
over a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year by only working ten days out of the thirty, usually in a month. Like that's crazy. Like one third of your month is work. The two thirds is basically freedom. Like this is kind of kind of expressing a good business model of having basically repeat customers at a higher ticket. But I don't know. Feel free to give your thoughts on this. Do you think this is like a viable option for people? I understand people's line of thinking of doing something like this. But the way I see it, this might work for like a short term type of thing. But long term, you can't rely on something like this. Like you really can't. If you want to learn how to get a debt and master your money, go to 40inbox.com.